Well, God bless you, saints of God. It is a joy to be with you this morning one more time in the name of Jesus. I thank and I praise God for how he's keeping you. I thank God for all of you, and I'm praying that you are uh, well in good spirits this morning. You're staying safe. I just thank God and praise him for everything. I thank God for all of, all of you. Thank God for all of your prayers. I'm praying for you. I know you're praying for me. And I thank uh, God for his keeping power. We want to, uh, this week, continue on having an unshakable gratitude. And we want to talk about and focus on something that I would like to call the dip. Uh, the dip. And uh, the dip is um, similar to a valley where it's a, a V or a U shape. And um, like for example, like a valley is the lowest area and is surrounded by mountains. So the dip is that uh, low part. And, um, and I want you to know that, um, how does that um, reflect on our life? Well, when we start anything new, whether if that's a New Year's resolution, whether if that's a new relationship, a new job, things in the beginning are very exciting and fun because it's new. And then after that, then things get real. So the honeymoon season phases, and then when problems come in and setbacks, then we start getting worried and concerned, and then we wonder whether if it's... Um, if it's even worth uh, the fight or even if it's worth the battle or putting in the effort um, in uh, what we are uh, currently in. So what is the dip? The dip can be um, your sixth or seventh job interview and no callbacks. The dip can be your second or third uh, doctor's visit to get a, get a different opinion while your health is getting worse. Uh, a dip can be, um, let's say you take a marathon runner. When they first start off running, it's exciting. Everyone's taking pictures. The family's rooting for them. The dip for them is when that's the part where the muscles start burning and the, and the muscles ache. And then they wonder whether if they can uh, continue on. That is what you would call the dip. In the Bible, when the scripture says, weeping may endure uh, but a night, well, the weeping part is in that dip part. It says joy comes in the morning is when you're, when it says but, the but part is the elevation. Joy is when you're back on level ground again. See, but the dip part, the weeping is going on in that lowest part. Weeping by the night, it's in there. Praise the Lord. But joy is, is up here. Like the part here that's the lowest part, that's the part where it's the, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? That's that part. That's the lowest part. And that low part is the part where when the Lord has given us a song, well, that's the part where we need it. We don't need it up here because we're level. We're doing well. But when we're in this low part in our life, that's where that song comes in, into, into play in, in our lives. So that's where all the red tape goes on. See, because Satan, what he wants to do is keep us in, in the dip. But we weren't made to be in the dip. It's only just a season. And everybody, no matter who you are, at some point in your life, you're going to experience a dip. You're going to experience a setback. You're going to experience whether if the battle is even worth it. And a lot of people, unfortunately, get settled and get uh, caught up and stuck in the dip. Praise the Lord. And that's not where we're supposed to be. So praise the Lord. So when we speak about unshakable gratitude, see, as long as we're here, we always have to praise God. Just like in Ecclesiastes 7, it says, um, in your good days, your prosperous days, give thanks. Just always praise God and thank him. But he says, but in the days of adversity, which is down in the dip, it says, the scripture says, consider. Amen. In other words, now, um, take a moment now and realize, and then the scripture goes on further to say that God is in control of everything. So that's the good news. The good news is that when we're on the mountain, he's with us. 
And when we're down in the valley, the Lord is also there standing with us. And we have to consider that. We have to keep that in our remembrance. And we can't allow being in the dip to shake our thank, uh, thankfulness or our gratitude. While we're in the dip, we more so have to always thank God. Things may shake up around us. Things may shake up in our home. Things may shake up on our job. Praise the Lord. But the one thing that should never shake is our gratitude and thanksgiving to God. Praise the Lord. So I want you to turn with me to Psalms 23. Psalms 23 and verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. So here David is saying his experience as a shepherd He's letting us know that the, the earlier part of the scriptures, being by, beside the still water and in green pasture, that is one area of our lives where we're here in, in this area. But he says, yea, though I walk through the valley. So we're now at the lowest point in our life. We're going through now. Praise the Lord. But he says that I will not fear evil. Because I know you're with me. You're walking with me. You're there beside me. He's, and then he brings out, he didn't bring out in the earlier scriptures what the Lord have with him or what the Lord provides. But he says now that I don't have anything to worry about because your rod that guides me and keep me in line, your staff with the hook to pull me out. He says, I know those things are there with me, and I know that you're there to bless me. You set a table, not among my family, not among my friends, not among my neighbors or people who like me, but the same very people who are looking to do me harm, to try to break me down or break my spirit. I am replenishing you and strengthening you in their midst. They're going to see it. They're going to see why you're sitting there eating. And he said a table there and you're in a place of peace and rest. God is doing it in front of them. They're seeing that you're not stressed. They're seeing that you're in a place of uh, being satisfied or comfort. They're watching that. They're your enemies. They're thinking that what they're putting out uh, in front of you is going to supposed to jumble you up keep you in the dip mm -hmm. but here it is God there while you're in the midst of the dip the Lord now is providing for you and keeping you while you're there while they're watching mm -hmm. praise the Lord until you come out of the dip mm -hmm. see because we weren't made to stay in there so there's a season that we're in the dip and then the Lord is going to make a way for us to escape out of the dip See, as long as we're in the dip, see, we may feel like there's no way out. Mm -hmm. But the God who goes before us, he sees beyond. Mm -hmm. He sees beyond what we can see. He sees the days, the years. He sees in front of us. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So while we're in the dip, we just have to understand and know that he's there with us. Yes. And that our enemies, they can't do us any harm. They're going to try. But they can't, they can't do us any harm. Amen. Thank you, and the main thing is that we weren't built to be in the valley. We were, we're mountain people. We're made to be on high. And we're going to have setbacks where we're down here. But the Lord is with us and he's working behind the scenes and he's going to pull us out. Amen. I want you to go with me to Psalms 18. Let's bring some clarity to this. Psalms 18, verse 33. 
He make my feet like hinds feet and set me upon my high places. He make my feet like hind feet. So if you have seen how the way a mountain uh, goat uh, move on those mountains, their feet are like a hoof and they're designed to uh, scale even those steepest, um, steepest hills and mountains. See, they weren't made to stay low because God designed their feet where they and the enemy tried to get hold to them. Their feet is designed where they could move to another cliff, jump to another cliff, jump to another steep cliff. So when the scripture said he make my feet like hinds feet, He's letting us know we weren't made to stay in the valley. He made a way for us to escape. And long as we show gratitude and honor him and give praise to God, praise the Lord. He made our feet like hind feet. In other words, he gave us the ability and the resource to be able to get out of what we're in. We're built for that. We're designed to come out. We're not made to be in the valley. We're made to be on the mountain. If we weren't, why would he make our feet like hinds feet? Why would he give us that spirit and give us all the instruments, what we need in order to come out of there? Yes. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want you to go with me to Deuteronomy 31. Deuteronomy 31. In verse 8, and the Lord, he it is that doeth go before thee. Let's read that part again. This is very important. And the Lord, he it is that doeth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. So he's the God who goes before us. So whatever we're experiencing or what we're currently in, God who goes before us already seen it. It's nothing that's a surprise to God. There is nothing that surprises him or catches him on the blind side. He's the God who goes before us, which means he already know the setback we may have in a relationship. He is the God who already know uh, that we're going to get uh, laid off next month. Right. He is the God who knows that the test result we came back from the doctor uh, uh, came back uh, showing something. Mm -hmm. But he said he's the God who goes before us. So when he goes before us, he's not walking ahead of us just to say he's in front. He's walking ahead of us, knowing that these obstacles are going to come into our way. And he's already prepared and planned things out for us that we'll be able to go through it with our peace, go through it with joy, yes. go through it with a song and a word. He's the God who goes before us. So he knows all the little tricks of Satan, all the places where Satan is going to try to pop his head in. Yes. He's the God who goes before us. So we have to be reminded every day that God is with us, that he is holding us in the palm of his hand. And when we praise and honor God, it lifts our spirit up and it doesn't allow the problem to overtake us, or overshadow us. Because what it does is when we give a praise to God and show gratitude, it takes the sting or it takes the power out of the problem. And then it allows our uh, joy to build and our strength and our peace uh, in the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to leave you with this this morning. That um, God, he, he doesn't see what we see. God sees way beyond what we see. Our view is limited. And most of the time when we go through problems, it feels like we're the only one because we're in the middle of the problem. Praise the Lord. But God sees far more than what we see. We may see financial trouble. God already sees a blessing in front of us. Amen. We, we may see turmoil. God sees rest. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Praise the Lord. We may see um, our health not uh, doing well. God sees healing. So God sees beyond what we see. But don't get caught up in the dip now and forget about God. Always remember that being in the dip is just a season and we are going to go through that somewhere in our life. But always know and believe and trust God that the joy is coming in the morning, that that's the part when we're coming out of the dip. So while we're here, we have to remember always just to thank and praise God and know but the morning is coming. Praise the Lord. I thank and I praise God for his word. I believe that you received it in the name of Jesus. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank and we praise you for your word today. And we thank you for all your many blessings. We thank you for being with us, not only through the mountains, but you're also with us in the valley, in the dip. Praise the Lord. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for being the God who goes before us. We thank you for your rod and your staff, how they keep us confident. We're not worrying about any evil. We're not worrying about our enemies. We thank you, Lord God, in fact, that you have set a table before us in their presence. And we thank you, Lord, for being your child. We thank you, Lord, for watching us, for being our savior. I'm praying for each and every one under the sound of my voice right now. I don't know what they're going through. You know, Lord, you know their homes, you know their lifestyle, their situations. I know, may not know, Lord, but Lord, you know what they're going through. And I'm praying especially for them right now in your name, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch them right now wherever they are. Touch them in your name. Father God, we accept your blessing. We receive it right now. We receive healing. We receive your provision, Lord God. We see it right now. We thank you right now in advance for it already. We know it's on the way, Lord. So we thank you and we praise your wonderful name. Watch us while we're going through this season with the pandemic. Father God, keep our spirits fresh, Lord. Keep our spirits renewed and alive within us, Lord. Continue to strengthen us, Lord. We thank you because we know that your mercy is renewed every morning because you're a faithful God. And great is your faithfulness. And so we want to say today, thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being good to us. Thank you for being a good God. And we say this prayer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank God for you.